The science of how the ACL heals after surgery is fascinating. Let's discuss how that works. One of the fascinating features of the human body is its ability to adapt, especially in times of stress, such as a traumatic injury or after a surgery. For an example, let's take a look at how your knee works to adapt and incorporate your new graft after ACL reconstruction. When you've injured your ACL, your knee is left without one of its primary stabilizers, which may lead to feelings of instability or even other types of knee injuries. Unfortunately, injuring your ACL isn't like getting a cut on your skin. There's just no good way to bandage it up or stitch it back together and have it working like new. As a result, your surgeon will need to use graft tissue from somewhere else in your own body or from a tissue donor to replace your torn ACL. You can learn all about the different options for these grafts in our video on autograft versus allograft. Click here to check it out. Now, you're probably wondering how this graft tissue from somewhere else is going to be able to work just like your ACL did. Well, just like everything else, your body adapts and through a series of complex reactions, turns your graft tissue into a new ACL. Think of it like a caterpillar undergoing metamorphosis into a butterfly. Your graft tissue undergoes metamorphosis into a new ACL. We call this process ligamentization. Let's discuss. After your surgery, your body immediately starts to react to the new graft tissue that was used. While there may be some slight differences in this reaction based on whether your graft was made from your own hamstrings or patellar tendon, or from tissue from a cadaver, all are relatively similar. One of the first things to occur in this early phase is the development of a new blood supply to your graft. This is important as your body needs to send all of its new remodeling cells, think of them as construction workers, to the work site. The blood vessels act as the highways to get them to the right place so they can get to work. Now that the worker cells are all starting to arrive, they're gonna need direction in order to get everything done the right way to create a new ACL. In fact, right now they're all working so hard and so fast that it may seem a bit disorganized. Similarly, when researchers have looked at graft tissue under the microscope in this early phase after surgery, they notice that it takes a while for this to look like normal ACL tissue again. But hey, Rome wasn't built in a day, and you have to start from the ground up. While your body is laying the foundation in this early phase, your tissue is not as strong as a normal ACL, and as a result, it's more likely to be injured if you push the limits. So listen to your doctor and therapist, and take it easy. This early phase can last several months, and as time passes, your graft tissue is moving farther along in its metamorphosis and into the remodeling phase. The structure is starting to take shape, and your graft is progressively starting to resemble a normal ACL. The support beams, or collagen fibers, are starting to align themselves in the right way, and the worker cells are continuing to bring the supplies needed to turn the graft cells into those that you'd see in a native ACL. The mayhem that was present in the beginning is fading away and order is returning. As your body continues to work hard on its own during this remodeling, you'll be working hard yourself to regain the strength and control you'll need before you're back in the game. Once the majority of this remodeling is complete, it's time for your body to put on its finishing touches. We call this the maturation phase. As before, it's important to remember that there is no definite timeline as to when this stage starts or when it ends. In fact, research has shown that this whole process can take a year or even longer. The timeline for this phase usually coincides with the more advanced stages in your rehabilitation, and at that point, you're moving closer to getting back in the game. So now you're hopefully a bit more familiar about what is going on inside your knee after ACL reconstruction. We know it may be a lot to take in, but it's important. Your recovery is a team effort, and understanding the science behind it will only make the process easier. We hope you've discovered some good information. Keep coming back to Ready, Set, Med for all your medical needs.